I've made a lot of stream elements widgets in the past, and I feel like this question kind of comes up with people who are a little bit more technically inclined. How do I make my own stream elements widget? Well, today I am going to be making a really quick tutorial that will show my pitfalls and processes of how I make a stream elements widget. We're going to be in my ID of choice, WebStorm. You don't have to use this. You can do this, whatever. You will need to know a little bit of web development to make this happen because we will be dealing with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. My idea for a widget just for demo purposes is, is I want to have it so if somebody says exclamation mark fart, it shows an emoji on a screen on the screen and it plays a sound, which seems pretty simple. Obviously, I don't know who would actually want this, but we're just going to do it because it's a simple thing to do. So what I always do is I always make a new folder and we're just going to call this fart. And then we're going to need a new HTML file, a CSS file, JavaScript file, and then finally we need a JSON file. Honestly, what I do is I, us I usually copy from one of my existing ones. So I think the one that is kind of closest and the one that is most forward of mind is the horny jail one. I'm going to go over and I'm going to copy over the HTML and you can see like I don't really need this font thing. So it's just going to be an image and audio. I use GitHub pages to host all of my files. So I've actually already uploaded and you can see in fart there's a PNG and a sound. And so they will be publicly available whenever this action finishes and how you set up GitHub pages is you really just go into settings, pages, and then you you say like, hey, deploy from main. And that's pretty much it. And then it'll host all of your stuff. So mine will be like swolecat.github.io slash se dash widgets slash assets. And you can see like here, there's one that's like Press F is the press F.jpg. So we're actually going to use that in here because I've already uploaded these. I think it's really important to upload your own assets because that way, like if whatever you're using goes down, then you won't be screwed. Like, for example, you could also like just send the message to yourself on Discord and then you use Discord CDN. But this seems a little bit more reliable to me. So this is our HTML. You'll notice it's not like the full thing or anything. You just really need to you can put whatever the hell you want here. I like putting in a main container and hidden. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to show and hide this main container whenever somebody does it. So let's go ahead and go into our JavaScript. So again, I will be going into horny jail, but there is one exception. I also want to have this be like locked behind a permission. And I know that bonk does this. So actually, and I've copied this code. This check privileges code is from stream elements and their widgets. We'll get back into this, but I want to set up the JSON first. So again, I just copy here from horny jail, but I'm, I'm also going to go into bonk and I'm going to copy this privileges thing. So the JSON file controls these fields. This is sort of what shows up. So instead of words that send people to jail, we'll have the command and then we'll have this like permissions drop down. You'll see we'll have the fart command and we'll have privileges and inside of the code we will access these with fart command and privileges. So let's go back into our JavaScript. We don't need this bonking queue thing. I like having this main container and then we have sound. And then actually let's also add in a little bit about our fart. So I'm just gonna call this fart. So there are special like add event listeners that you can do with the widget. So the first one is on widget load. And so this is where we're gonna get the field data out of the object detail, like the load de detail. So basically we're gonna get the value that people set inside of the, the JSON file. You'll see that like here in check privileges, field data dot privileges. Now this is really important because you might say if you're familiar with JavaScript, you're like, why don't I just do the destructuring? So the one thing that you have to be really careful with is that if you do the curly braces like this, it will try to put in field data for you. This would actually be valid. Let fart command equal fart command. That would actually work out and it would actually turn this into whatever was put into the JSON. So you really have to be careful with destructuring 
my advice to you is to just never destructure a single variable. I know that's really weird and doesn't really make a lot of sense, but here we are. So the next one is the event received. And so this is where uh, you can get like messages, you can get bits, you can get subs, all the other thing. Really the only thing that you can't get is channel points. And then basically in your handle message, or whatever, like you can do whatever the hell you want. So we know that this object, because the listener is message, we know this is a chat message. Const uh, fart command equals field data dot fart command. Okay, and then we get the data and we get the text. So basically all we do is we say like, hey, if not check privileges data. So that'll that'll make sure that like everybody like, oh, if they're a sub or whatever, and, and that's fine, right? We check the privileges and it's not there. return. If it doesn't start, if it doesn't start with a command or the privileges aren't there, don't do it. Otherwise, fart, we don't need a display name. So we're gonna make a new thing called fart and we are going to We'll just call this hide. All right, I don't like to really do anything fancy with this like hide and show stuff. I just modify the class name to be hidden or not hidden. So we have hide and then we will do a set timeout. I don't know, let's say like after 10 seconds, we'll hide it again, but now we just need to show it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to basically show, this will show it, this will play the sound. So what I'm gonna actually do is we're gonna go into CSS. Once again, I'm just gonna steal a bunch of boilerplate from Bonk. Right, main padding body, high 100, margin 100 is relative, right? Hidden display none, right? And then we can get rid of all of this bonk specific stuff. So we just really have fart. Height, 200 pixels with 200 pixels, object, fit, contain, position, absolute, top, zero, left, zero. But before we like show, we need to like right here, we need to position the emoji. So we have our height and width. This, we're gonna do a random variable or math.random times uh, height minus art size. We're gonna do the same thing for left. And so this should position the emoji in a random place. It'll show the container and then it'll play. After 10 seconds, it'll hide. So that seems pretty reasonable to me. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna actually test this out and go into the editor. And now we're gonna copy everything over. So if you did this correctly, you will see for sure your fields change. So let's just say position and size is like 1920 by 1080. And so we should be able to go into our chat and say fart. Okay. Where did it show up? Now we gotta go into debugging. So I always go into a new tab and we're gonna do it again. So we'll hear the sound twice. Okay, cool. So let's inspect the element. Top and left are negative, which should not be the case. These should both be positive numbers. They should have a minimum of zero. Y yeah, the, the, the thing is that this is going negative. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a debugger right here. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna make sure that I have this open and I'm gonna do it. And it should pause. Now, unfortunately, like there's a really poor debugging experience. Like it's not actually showing us, but we should be able to like, height and width are both zero, which is not correct. So I remembered this wrong, get bounding client rect is not. So let's just see main container get bounding client rect. Let's see what this returns. This is 100% true because it's it's display none. So let's go ahead and change some stuff up. Is it's it's not going to this is not going to work until this class changes. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to do fart. We're actually not going to hide the main container. We're going to hide the fart. That's what we're going to do. So now that should work. So I removed the hidden from here and I added it to here so it's not showing up by default. So let's go ahead and add this. We'll go into our CSS and then we'll go into our JavaScript. Ta -da! So let's try again. Cool. It seems to be working. And these are overlapping because like 
the timeout isn't getting cleared every single time. And so we can go ahead and fix Ta -ta! that, right? But timeout, timeout equals here if timeout here timeout. So let's go ahead and update that JavaScript file. And now if we spam it, it'll always wait 10 seconds before removing. And that is how I make widgets. I hope this was very exciting. If you have any questions or anything else, like hop in the Discord or hit me up on Twitch, I'll see you around.